welcome family, friends, and loved ones. We gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Jeff and Rebecca. You have come here to share in this formal commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow Jeff and Rebecca to start their married life together, surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter, and to let go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is to expand your support as you affirm the choice you make to stand together as life mates and partners. Jeff, our story isn't exactly a typical love story. Some might say we've done things backwards, but I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. We met through vulnerability and openness and it had a time in my life when I was lost in every sense of the word. When I least expected you, you entered my life, and I will never forget the kindness and compassion you showed me as I worked to heal. Long before you were the father of our beautiful daughter, before you were my partner, you were my friend, and you've been my friend first and foremost every day since. Although we don't have an official day of when we started dating, we both mostly agree that it's been about eight years. And that's about 3,000 days. 3,000 days of laughter, tears, frustration, excitement, fear, happiness, joy, freedom, and through it all, love. A book that we're both very familiar with has some promises that we've seen come true in our lives. And here are some of my promises to you. I promise to be the friend to you that you have always been to me. I promise to be a source of calm in your life. I promise to always be your adventure buddy. I promise to trust and respect you as your own person and to remember that your interests, desires, and dreams are equally important to my own. I, I promise to keep exploring, healing, and growing so that I'm able to show up for our family every day, especially in hard times. And most of all, I promise to love you and walk through this life beside you as your equal for all the hundreds and thousands of days to come. Rebecca. Our journey together started from an individual quest to relieve suffering from our own choices in life. When I chose the path of recovery, I did not realize that I would be graced with your friendship. We experienced the happiness that comes with those early days of getting acquainted with each other and staying close to our tribe. Then we became lovers and very quickly I realized that you are the one I want to share this path with. This is my commitment to you here and now and for always. I vow to be your lifelong partner to traverse this realm with you until my last breath. I vow to love you through all of life's difficulties and to rejoice with you in times of happiness. I will strive to be present for you at all times and devote my energy towards your well being. I vow to respect your own individual spiritual journey and give you the space to let your soul breathe, remaining appreciative of my part. I vow to cherish your presence in my life, to always honor and respect you. I vow to be your partner through the maze of parenthood, 
to always listen to your concern for our little arrow. I promise to be your traveling companion, to explore and experience new places with you. I will care for you in times of need, hold you when sadness is in your heart, and pick you up when the ground seems to disappear. This life can be heavy to endure, and we will not always know which course of action to take. However, it is worth every moment with you by my side. I truly believe that we are here to walk each other home. May you be happy. May you be at ease. May you be free from suffering. I love you. If you are able to keep the vows you take here today, not because of any religious or civic law, but out of a desire to love and be loved by another person fully, oh. <laughs> without limitation, then your life will have joy and the home you establish will be a place in which you both will find the direction of your growth your freedom, <laughs> and your responsibility. That wasn't scripted, but it was perfect. <laughs> and so I ask, will you, Rebecca, take Jeff to be your wedded husband? I will. And Jeff, will you take Rebecca to be your, your wedded wife? I will. And now for the part we've all been waiting for. By the power vested in me by the state of Nebraska and the power of your love and commitment, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. i uh -huh.